Hello and welcome to the VWDW Challenge. I'm on a trip. <laughs> yes, and you know I have a different type of style. So if you want to subscribe, please subscribe. And you know I squeeze a lot into the vlogs that I have. So I'm doing not one, not two, but three room reviews very quickly in concession, okay? So um, this, the first one is going to be the Sofitel. We're going to magically, gonna watch this one, magically go over to Pop Century and then from Pop Century we're going to magically go over to Cabana. They're going to be quite quick room tours because some room tours go on for like 15 minutes. I, You can see what you need to see in a room and I can tell you about the room very quickly. Okay, um, so first things first, I'll show you my rig. <laughs> which I think you might like. Hang on, let's have a look. I'm going to turn it around and you can see my rig. There we go. There's my rig. Can you see? Yeah, there's me. So there's my rig. It's set up in, a, set up in my room, ready for a room tour. Um, I've had to bring a lot of tech with me to do some of these vlogs. So let's crack on. Let's do the Sofitel Heathrow very honest room, room tour. Um, whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to throw in a couple of pictures maybe. Or I might just go to the next part of it and, sh and, and show you. It's quite a nice hotel. Um, and this hotel is £90. Well, it was for me because I get an NHS discount. So I'm going to now pick up my camera and I'm going to give you a quick run around. Some of the shots I'll be behind the camera, some of the shots I'll be in front of the camera. And I'm going to give you a quick run around and I'll tell you what I think about the room. Okay, let's go. So as you first walk into the room, first thing you're going to come into is going to be your bathroom. It's a nice bathroom. Um, it's all marble floors. So I'm going to zoom down to the floor. It's all marble floor. And then you're going to get to see me there. There you go. Hi. Um, it's really nice actually. Nice bath. Uh, it's all marble. Uh, the towels are quite nice. It's got your complimentary um, smellies on there. And sink. Two glasses, uh, don't need to see a toilet, um, old style phone, uh, a walk in. I'm going to zoom up a walk in shower. All right, okay, so nice, sorry, nice room. If you walk, as you walk in here, we've also got your tea, your amenities. I actually haven't used it. I've got to be honest, I haven't used it. I haven't used my cup of tea or my kelp, but I might make one in a minute because I've got, a, I've got about an hour left. So. When I do get to a room, I do like to keep my rooms nice and tidy. It does make for a nicer experience. So obviously I was sleeping here. This is 24 hours, well, 13 hours after I got into the room. Really nice bed in here. Uh, plenty of storage, as you can see. And I'm just gonna walk around down this way. Now, one thing, I'm gonna say hello again. Hi, one thing I want to make you all aware of is you get to see me in this shot as well. There's not hardly any USBs in here. There is one. One USB port. Now, you know when I did my tech vlog? You saw me with these plugs. Now, that's the only reason I've been able to charge up all my tech last night, okay? Was because of those. Um, comes with a nice little leather chair, which you can recline on. And... Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you was when I actually came in last night, you have door buttons here, on and off. And I was pressing them for like 20 minutes. And see the card there? Okay, so I'm going to go back so you're going to see me and I'm going to tell you about that card. So bear with me a second. So that card you just saw, um, it's got a credit card size little slit in the wall. And I got into my room and I didn't know you had to put the card in to turn the lights on. So I walked in, I had my camera, I had my um, phone light and I went down to the, um, I went to the um, front desk and said, my lights aren't working. And he actually had to tell me, <laughs> you can tell I'm not a seasoned traveler. Um, he, he, he actually told me that um, you have to put the card in and where it was. And once I come back up, I actually found the, um, the slot that the card goes into and all the lights sprung into life. So yeah, so that was quite embarrassing. And I'm gonna be doing funny things. Uh, also, I'm going to cut away now and come back and I want to tell you something very, because this is a health vlog as well. So I'm just going to come back. So bear with me a second. You can see a little bit of a, an edit here or a disappearing and, and I come back. So bear with me a second. 
So you probably would have seen that. I just dotted out of camera, but I wanted to get it done. Um, things I wear when I go on holiday. These are what's DV, these, uh, DVT stockings. They stop you from having a deep vein thrombosis, which is blood clots in your legs when you fly. Um, and I wear them because of my transplant and my drugs can cause blood clots. So I wear them. No one knows you're wearing them, okay? They, they just compress your legs and they're actually quite comfy. Um, if you are on a flight and um, you don't take your shoes off at the beginning of the flight, um, by the time you get to the end of the flight, you wouldn't be able to put your shoes back on because they swell up that much. So they cost about five, six pounds to buy a pair and well worth the money. So, um, and the other thing I also bring with me is travel anti-sickness tablets because I get travel sick. So let's, um, now in my own style, let's go over and magically go to another hotel and let's compare this 90 pound hotel to the Disney 150 pound a night hotel. Okay, let's go. So this is why my vlog is a little bit different from other people's vlogs. I'm doing three rooms and we're gonna skip with magic. As you can see, pop century. Let's go over to Pop Century and see, by the way, we are still in the hotel room. Um, let's go over with a little bit of Wayne magic to Pop Century and see what we get for £150 a night compared to my £90 a night. Okay, let's go. So here we are, uh, Pop Century. And basically, this is a very quick room tour because I don't need to go on for too long. You've all seen lots of room reviews. Well, I'm doing them so quick so you guys can make your um, mind up about what you think about the value. Now, this is about £150 a night compared to the one you saw a few minutes ago in England, which is the five-star hotel, which I managed to get for about £90, give or take a few pennies. So I'm just going to turn the camera around. So... This is a basic pop century room. Now, I try to keep my rooms as tidy as possible when I go in because, um, let's be honest, I'm on my own. I don't need to take up a lot of space and if I get it organized. So I've just got back in from the park, so now I'm gonna organize what I need for tomorrow's vlog at Hollywood Studios. This is a pull down bed. You guys have seen loads of these in other people's vlogs, so I don't need to go through it with you because you already know. This room does contain two double beds, okay? The theming in here is quite nice. If you look above the bed, sorry about the state of the bed, but I like my vlogs to be real. You've got these lovely Mickey, Andy Warhol, I'd say. Pictures along the, the bed, very, very nice. You've got a basic phone down there to call reception. As you can see, this is my electronics workstation where I recharge my tech for tomorrow with a little bit of storage underneath there. Storage in these rooms is so, so good. Um, I do like this. You've got a little safe under this surface here. So you've got your safe, secondary drawers uh, and covers. This is where I'm keeping all my laptops at the moment in here and other little bits and bobs. Um, I've got my coffee ready set up for the morning when I wake up. Um, so they're quite nice. You've got the Disney running TV, which tells you the part times. Um, you have a little coffee machine in here. Now, can I say, just one quick, one quick brief note here. USB charging in the bottom range hotel at Disney is 50 times better than the one in the five-star hotel in London. Okay, Disney, well done. I'll give you massive credit on that one. You've got three basic storage here, just for storage. I'll shut these doors here, because you don't want to see in there. There we go, let's sh shut, shut those doors. So, that's shut those. You've got a little fridge under here. First thing I did was stock it up with the drinks I had in my bag because I'm not paying um, the Disney prices for their drinks. So that's quite good. It's got a little drawer up here. Open and close. I brought my own, can I just say it's biodegradable stuff that I brought. So it is not plastic, it's biodegradable. And everything is biodegradable that I bring. Uh, it's got a little ice box up there which comes with it. Very nice. Um, and other side of the bed as well, you've got USB ports both sides of the bed over there and storage in here it's my bag for the day and obviously you've got your toilet in here nice towels once again i have got my stuff in here because i have been using the room but i have been trying to keep it nice and clean uh nice nice bath and shower 
in here. All the linens, really, really nice. I'm a bit OCD, I did fold up the linen after I finished it. You've got an ironing board, you've got your drinks maker, coffee, and that's about all there is. It's a very basic room, but you know what? It's what you need when you spend a day in the park, because you spend more time in the park and you're asleep in your room. It makes more sense to have a room like this. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pan there, I'm just gonna go over to Wayne, who's now going to take you, well, so Wayne will take Bob, I don't know. We're now gonna go over to the next hotel room. So give us a, so I'm just gonna bring up and go over to the other side of the room. So hi guys, as you can now see, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the Cabana Bay, which is just there. I know, right? One vlog, three room tours. I'm knocking this one out of the park. First time in YouTube history. Yes, so let's keep going, shall we? So this is the Cabana Bay. First impressions, blown away compared to the other ones, okay? So I'm just gonna give you a quick guided tour. Turn the camera around. This is the, ooh, very retro. Lovely curtains. Nice bath, shower, all the amenities you'd expect. You've got your spare toilet roll, more towels. I love the light switches in here. I love the light switches. Retro, I said, oh, this is what I'm doing in this place. You've got the retro lights on the wall. There's me, hi. <laughs> so yeah, I love all this. Nice, nice, nice handles on the sink there. Um, your drawers to store stuff in. You've got your hair dryer. I could be doing the bit of retro hair dryer, but I can't just say the chap who just met me on the front door as well was amazing. Oh my, how nice was he? Um, I haven't seen this yet. You're, the, you're seeing this for the first time with me. There you go, um, spare pillows, I'm not sure. Uh, you've got an iron safe. I do, do you know what? The most important thing for me is storing stuff in space, especially because I take my medication with me. So yeah, um, wow. This really is the first time I've seen this room. Look at that, I love the artwork above the bed. It feels spacious, it feels light. There's a big old window pumping light in there. Look, oh, look, the retro alarm clock. Yeah, nice pillows. Um, TV with coloured drawers. I don't know what's in here. I'm hoping it's going to be, it is. So I've got a nice fridge to store my stuff in. The one in Disney had a glass front so you could see what was in there. Um, there we go. That will, is it cool? It is cold in there. That will keep my drinks nice and cool. We've got um, drawers. I love the retro seating. Got two seats in there. I, mean, I know this, the one in Disney had the seat, the, the bed that went up, but this still feels, because it's lighter, it feels bigger. And I haven't even seen the view. What's the view going to be like? I don't want to look. The case is really bad. Oh, it's not bad. It's nice. Oh, oh, check this out. Oh, look. I see Volcano Bay. Ah, what a room. What a room. Ah, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to look at the sunset. I'm not going to. Oh, look. I'm just going to grab some food in a minute and just come up here and look out the window. I'm chilling for the rest of the day now because I've done loads today. Lots of waiting. I am going to turn this camera around. Now I've done three rooms. You don't, oh, this is sorry. So I've just had to sit down for a second just to take in the room because I love it so much. This is like a dream room. It is so much brighter than any hotel I've been in. The Sofitel, you could see. The Pop Century, you could see. Now I'm staying at the Cabana, you can see. This is a different kettle of fish. This is like bright and airy and I love it. I love, I think I love this more than Pop, and it's about the same price as Pop. Um, yeah, the beds are comfy as well. Um, but however, let's wait and see what the park's like, and what their equivalent of Daz is. The chap on the front desk was amazing. I've got, I can't remember his name now, but he was just lovely. So informative. You just saw the view out my window. I could see the volcano. I oh, know, I'll leave on that one. Um, so let's now, I don't know which bit of the vlog, you're just going to have to keep staying tuned and following this adventure along with me. Um, I'm going to have to edit it all together somehow. I mean, this, this is the room review. Uh, but the rooms aren't everything. It's the people and it's the parks, how they deal with it as well. So far, so good for the cabana. Okay, so I'll let you see what you think at the end of this room review that's never been done before. 
three rooms, skipping from one room to another. Okay, it's a long one, hope you stayed with it. And if you are gonna to go to one of these hotels, you don't have to keep going from someone else's vlogs and searching for it, because all three of them are here in the same place. Okay, right, tomorrow, Universal, tonight, resting legs. Okay, see you guys. I'm editing this, i next Sunday for the park bit. See how it goes, come on.